In this video, we're going to look at how to connect to an OAuth API within Airtable. The first thing to do is go to the Apps dashboard in Airtable and install an app. So search for the Data Fetcher app and click Add. Data Fetcher is a free Airtable app that lets you connect to OAuth APIs as well as other APIs. So once you've installed it, sign up for a free Data Fetcher account or sign into your existing one. Then on the home screen, click Create Request. Then go to the Authorization tab, and this is where we're going to set up the OAuth authorization or authentication. And select for the type OAuth. Then for the connection, you can either use one of your existing connections, but most likely you'll need to create a new one. And you can see here that we've got different platforms that we can authenticate with using OAuth. If you can't find the one that you want to connect to, you can click this request a connection button. But we're going to use Webflow for this video. And you can see that we've got the Webflow kind of permission dialog here that asks us for permission. So I'm going to select these two projects and click authorize application. And I'm returned to data fetcher. The authorization is now going to use this Webflow connection. And I just need to set the other details up for the API request. So I'm going to connect to the sites endpoint and import my sites. So I'm going to say import sites. I need to select a header. So click on the headers tab, click add. And I need to add this header here called accept version with type, sorry, with value 100. Then set the output table and the output view and click Run. Click the Show Response button to show the actual API response. And you can filter and include fields here. So I'm going to include name and preview URL. Then click Confirm. Data Fetcher will create any missing fields in your output table and then run the request again and import the data using OAuth authentication.